Oh, this is going to be one of those places with a really heavy base that just rips through your spine. She's an ex or something. Maybe. I'm guessing that's Arya, just from the uh, cross legged position. A varying sense of confidence and aloofness. I dance. Well, am I permitted to dance? Oh, I'm not even allowed to dance there. Hey, James. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What'd you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. That the way you see me? You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more depth. <laughs> 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 sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. <sighs> that sounds arrogant. I'm not sure he would like it, would Drake. I think he, he understands it like he's a figurehead, but if he weren't in this position, he wouldn't be doing what he'd be doing. Don't like, I don't really like it. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Buy us all around of drinks. <laughs> then buy them around. <laughs> Boost morale. Yeah. I think Drake would do it. Yeah, let's do it. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. Honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> Talk to him a bit more. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? I can't. I'm not allowed to. Oh. I'm just gonna hang here for a while. Cool. Salud! Thanks for the drink. When we get back to Earth, I'll buy it. You sure you don't wanna buy me a drink? We're just going around now. Just going around now, Andy. Damn it, Morales. The troops need something to bring back their final spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment of Castellus? No number. Knowing they would die. They fought the end. Can I chat with him? Okay, that's what we were talking about. So, um, yes, we now have a we now have that somehow. That was quick. Unexpected. Is it the dance floor? Oh, it's the dance floor. Where do I dance? No. Is there a, oh, do I have to do it in the corner? <laughs> 
Shepard, no one likes your dancing, you have to do it in the corner. I'm not dancing with you, sorry. <laughs> dance, dance, dance. Can't get a drink up here. You're not the dance floor, love. I think you're meant to be serving drinks. Right, let's quick save and then chat with Aria. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Boop, 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 boop. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. <coughs> Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? <laughs> I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole a Mega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. What happened? You will pay for every second I've spent <laughs> in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. And yet you're here alive. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Hmm. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. <sighs> yes, they are scum. However, I think we're going to need them. The worrying thing, of course, is then Arya has the three mercenary forces united under her rule, which would make a ruthless and dangerous force for the peace. Um, whatever it takes. If they'll fight Reapers. I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. <laughs> Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. <sighs> Thing is, she knows we need them. And she knows that we know that the best way of getting them is through her. Unfortunately, I know that not only does she know that, but I also know that that's still a, that's a rather worrying proposition to have all three under one person. And yet, I know she knows that I know that, and I probably know that she knows that I know. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, I'm completely lost. Uh, let's get the person from Eclipse out. But yes, I know that she knows that I know that they're a dangerous force. And yet, she knows that 
because I know I'm worried about doing this, and yet we both know. I'm going in there to Commander Pelly. We both know that I don't have a huge amount of choice in this, due to the fact that we need everyone against. We can we can get against the Reapers. Hence the, although I do accept that they're scum, we do kind of need them. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. <laughs> Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. How unstable? What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked the shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. <coughs> she rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. <sighs> Let me see her then. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Where am I going then? Oh, that'll be at the front, won't it? I don't want to push. I, although I, although we kind of want Nida to be released, there's no point in aggravating any kind of relationship we have with Bailey. Just make things worse. Oh, and I was going to talk to the officer for for this fellow. Should we should have done that? I think he's in poetry, wasn't he? Oh no. no. Oh, oh, no. Who's Narl? Ah, right, yes. Sorry, I'm, I'm confused. Donna Vosk. I'm guessing these are people for this new mission. So we can't meet this, whoever this fellow is. Uh, Presidium Commons, then. We'll deal with one of these at the moment. Um, and then we can do the next two next time, now maybe. Where are we going? I can't get the map. Map! There you go. Over here, we want to go to number five, so we want to go this way. Yeah, dear John Letter, I probably should be listening to this, shouldn't I? Oh no, I've missed it now. Oops. Jog, 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 jog. Do I want to go this way? Oh, there's these rooms. Oh, these are the apartments anyway. Okay, it's wrong. I don't want to go there. So he's like assistant. In we go. Hello. I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell, Commander. You can speak with her via that console. Which console? Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Who's not spying on me now? Ah, uh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me to freedom. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Oh, oh yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. Leave in the past, don't threaten me. Uh, are you threat- I'm guessing you're threatening me. I'm guessing she is threatening me. Which is a very odd move. I think because she knows that I know that Arya knows. Like, it's not that. It's not that again. Um, no, just not gonna have this. I do need her though. No, I need a clips. Leave it in the past. Don't threaten me. Hmm. No, show a force. 
You want to get out? You gotta play ball. Don't threaten me. It'd be smart to bury the threat, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. I wonder if we can push Sane to do, to do something. I think we'll try that. I'll find another solution. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. I want to find Sane. I don't even know where he'd be. <laughs> Back to the cargo holding. I want to get a clip sorted in this set for, to finish this session. So we've got to find Sane. I don't think they'd mention him as a, just a random aside. Um, I think they'd... Uh, yeah, that doesn't do anything. I don't know why I do it. Um, Welcome, holding area. Yeah, I don't think they just randomly throw in the name and then it not go somewhere. So, but yeah, I mean, if she wants to threaten me, that's her own stupidity coming out, isn't it? Where is he? Is he ran this way? I should probably have looked. He's in cargo hold. Hey, ooh, with Garrus. I am with the Batarian on that issue. Not just because the human's French, he's just obnoxious and keeps talking. That's just weird, just going up to someone random. Oh, Donovsk. Oh, journals, you don't journal, do you? Oh, whoa! What on earth is this? I need to do that, uh, which is need to go that, and we've got clips. Yes, please send that to Donovosk, which we're not doing yet. Sane. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris's release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. But you don't need Sedaris. Same. You should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya to yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, do I then... What do I do now with that? Is that a... I now go speak to Arya about it again? Or is that just a... Yay. I've done that now. I think. I think. Do I have to go and speak to... Oh, I should go and speak to Bailey again, shouldn't I? Tell him not to bother with uh, Jenna Sedaris. I don't know. Yeah, there is no... That just zooms the camera. You can say that again. And having done that, we've kept a horrible menace still in still in CSEC. We've kept in good with Bailey in case we need another favour. I'm not sure this is that's gonna have an impact on anything, and we've got uh, clips working for us. 
Admittedly, Sedaris may have been a destabilizing factor post-war, but we're not worried about post-war at the moment, really. We're trying to just survive the war. Um, yes. Oh, actually, we can do Donovosk. Do I have time? Uh, not now, I don't think. Not in this session. But next time, we're going to stay here. And we'll go and chat with Donna Vosk about the Blue Suns, I believe it is. It's Null, he's the Blood Pack. So, um, we're going to work on getting all this stuff done while we're here. There's Donna Vosk. And, uh... Is there something I could interact with? That's just been my imaginations. Next time, Donna Vosk. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching.